Do you know that more than 4 million people in the United States may have some level of liver disease, and many of them don't even know it? Liver disease is a serious condition that can affect your metabolism, immune system, and blood filtration. It can also lead to cirrhosis or liver failure, which requires lifestyle changes or, in severe cases, a liver transplant to survive. But did you know that some of your daily habits you do every day without thinking can be damaging your liver without you knowing about it? In this video, we will reveal 10 daily habits that can damage your liver and how to stop them before it's too late. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number one, not following the recommended medication dosage. Many people often misuse recommended doses of certain medications, which can overwhelm the liver's ability to process them, leading to liver damage. Some drugs might also trigger allergic reactions or toxic responses in the liver cells, causing inflammation or even liver failure. For some specific drugs, liver damage is predictable. It occurs shortly after the drug is taken and is related to its dose. In the United States, such damage, often caused by acetaminophen poisoning, is one of the most common causes of the sudden appearance of jaundice, liver failure, or both. For other drugs, Damage is unpredictable. It is detected sometime after the drug is taken and is not related to the dose. Rarely, such damage results in a severe liver disorder. Misuse of these drugs may damage the liver by directly damaging liver cells, by blocking the flow of bile out of the liver, or by doing both. So what can you do to keep your liver safe from too much medication? Try to use them only when necessary and never more than the label says. If you often have pain, ask your doctor about safer options like lifestyle changes or different treatments. Stay informed about your meds and their effects on your liver. Number two, eating a lot of processed foods. Daily consumption of processed foods and refined carbohydrates contributes to liver damage. Fried and fast foods that are high in fat and sugar are highly harmful to liver health. Daily intake of refined sugar and high fructose corn syrup can cause a fatty buildup that can lead to liver disease. The liver acts as the body's glucose reservoir and helps to keep your blood sugar levels circulating and other body fuels steady and constant. But when there is an overload of sugar, the liver gets overwhelmed, causing the liver to start converting the excess sugar into fat, which can potentially lead to fatty liver disease. Fat buildup in the liver can cause inflammation and even prevent it from functioning correctly. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, is one of the most common causes of liver disease in the United States. It's a condition in which excess fat is stored in the liver. In a healthy body, the liver removes toxins and produces bile, a greenish-yellow fluid that breaks down fat into fatty acids so that they can be digested. So, how can you cut down on processed foods? Aim to fill your plate with fresh produce, whole grains, lean meats, and good fats. Whenever you can, prepare meals at home, using natural seasonings like herbs and spices instead of salt. Always check the nutrition facts on food packages, picking those with less salt and phosphorus. Number three, not drinking enough water. Given that more than half of our bodies are made up of water, it is not shocking that we need to replenish it with water to maintain healthy bodily functions. This is particularly true when it comes to the health of your liver. When you become dehydrated, your liver's function decreases because it no longer has sufficient water to help flush waste from the body. Also, water makes up most of your blood. Hydration makes it easier for your blood to pass through the liver and thus be filtered. The less hydrated you are, the less efficient your liver is at filtering toxins like alcohol or chemicals. So, how much water should you drink? It varies based on things like your age, size, how active you are, the weather, and your health. A good basic goal is between 1.5 and 2 liters daily, but your exact needs might be different. To keep up your water intake, sip throughout the day, especially if you're working out or feeling thirsty. Besides water, you can have herbal teas, juice, or broth. Just try to stay away from drinks with caffeine, alcohol, or lots of sugar, as these can dry you out and be tough on your liver. Number four, smoking. Smoking is not only bad for your lungs, but also your liver. It impacts the liver by introducing harmful chemicals into the bloodstream. As the chemicals travel through the body, they reach the liver, which is crucial in detoxifying the blood. However, 
smoking affects the liver's ability to efficiently remove toxins, which can lead to damage and inflammation over time. This can increase the risk of liver cancer and liver cirrhosis. Smoking also promotes the production of cytokines, which are chemicals that cause even more inflammation and damage liver cells. Quitting smoking doesn't only help your lungs, but also your liver's health. So the key action to take is to quit smoking right away. Keep in mind that stopping smoking benefits not just your liver, but also your lungs, heart, brain, and overall health. It also helps to improve your skin and teeth, enhancing your general well-being. Number five, exposure to toxins. Chemicals you may be exposed to on the job can cause liver injury. Common chemicals that can cause liver damage include the dry cleaning solvent carbon tetrachloride, vinyl chloride used to make plastics, the herbicide Paraquat, and a group of industrial chemicals called polychlorinated biphenyls. When exposed to these toxins, it can enter your bloodstream and potentially reach your liver. Your liver's job is to break down and eliminate these toxins. Still, when there is a continuous inflow of harmful substances, it is a never-ending battle for your liver, which can strain the liver's detoxification abilities, potentially leading to damage. So, what can you do to limit your exposure to these toxins? Always use protective equipment and follow safety guidelines when handling chemicals. Stay informed about the substances you work with and seek alternatives if possible, ensuring you minimize the chance of long-term liver damage. Number six, lack of physical activity. Physical inactivity is related to the severity of fatty liver disease, irrespective of body weight. Several clinical trials have shown that aerobic and resistance exercise reduce the hepatic fat content. Clinical and basic scientific studies show that exercise affects fatty liver disease through various pathways. Improved peripheral insulin resistance reduces the excess delivery of free fatty acids and glucose for free fatty acid synthesis to the liver. In the liver, exercise increases fatty acid oxidation, decreases fatty acid synthesis, and prevents mitochondrial and hepatocellular damage by reducing the release of damage-associated molecular patterns. In conclusion, physical exercise is proven to be a form of therapeutic strategy to improve fatty liver disease. Among obese people, sedentary individuals have increased risks of having a fatty liver in comparison with weight-matched physically active individuals. It supports the hypothesis that increasing physical activity through exercise, defined, planned, structured, and repetitive physical activity with a specific intensity, frequency, and duration has beneficial effects on non-alcoholic fatty disease. Number seven, becoming overwhelmed with stress. Stress can reduce blood flow to the liver. Natural killer cells expand in the liver during periods of stress and kill liver cells, worsening liver conditions. During stress, the body releases hormones like cortisol that help deal with stress, but continuous release of these hormones can strain your liver. This chronic stress can mess with your liver's ability to function correctly, leading to inflammation and damage to the liver cells. So, what can you do to reduce stress? Consider adopting relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or gentle exercise. Regularly engaging in activities that calm your mind and body can significantly reduce the impact of stress on your liver. Number eight, drinking too much alcohol. When you enjoy a drink, your liver goes to break it down. The liver transforms alcohol into various byproducts, and this process generates toxins that can harm liver cells. The liver, striving to heal itself, might develop scar tissue, impairing its ability to function correctly. This condition is known as cirrhosis, Cirrhosis is the term used for scarring of the liver, which can happen when any form of liver disease reaches an advanced stage. This can ultimately result in liver failure or even liver cancer. A lot of people who have little symptoms or don't feel sick go undiagnosed in the early stages of cirrhosis. This can be mitigated by keeping alcohol consumption within moderate limits. So, what can you do to limit your alcohol intake? Current CDC guidelines recommend that women consume no more than one alcoholic beverage daily and men consume no more than two. This helps your liver stay healthy and giving it a break from excessive alcohol ensures it can keep doing its vital job in your body. Number nine, ignoring regular checkups. Skipping regular checkups can significantly impact liver health. These checkups play a crucial role in the early detection and prevention of liver-related issues. 
For instance, conditions like fatty liver disease or hepatitis often show minimal or no symptoms in their early stages. Regular checkups, including blood testing, help detect these conditions before they escalate into more severe liver damage. Research also points out the importance of routine screenings of hepatitis B and C, as these infections, if left undiagnosed and untreated, can lead to chronic liver disease or liver cancer. Regular checkups are a proactive approach to maintaining liver health, enabling quick actions that can significantly impact long-term liver function and overall well-being. Keeping up with your regular healthcare checkups will help you catch liver disease sooner rather than later. Number 10, engaging in unsafe sex. Engaging in unsafe sex can indirectly impact your liver's health. Some sexually transmitted infections, STIs like hepatitis B and C, can be transmitted through unprotected sexual activity. These parasites and viruses can infect the liver, causing inflammation that reduces liver function. Unvaccinated adults who have multiple sex partners, along with sex partners of people with chronic hepatitis B infection, are at increased risk for transmission. Injection or drug use and sexual contact are other standard modes of hepatitis B transmission in the United States. Some vaccines can prevent hepatitis A and B, but there is no current vaccine for hepatitis C. These viruses, if contracted, can infect the liver and lead to chronic hepatitis, potentially causing liver inflammation and scarring over time. So, what can you do to prevent STIs and protect your liver? Always use protection, like condoms, and engage in sexual activities with informed consent. Regular screening and vaccination for hepatitis A and B are also important preventive measures. Remember, maintaining open communication with partners and healthcare providers about your sexual health and history can significantly reduce the risk of liver-related diseases from STIs. Your liver is a vital organ that deserves your care and attention. By avoiding these 10 habits, you can improve your liver health and prevent or delay the progression of liver disease. Remember that prevention is always better than cure. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you have some of these habits? Did you know they were harming your liver before watching the video? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.